Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone, it's R. Malieri here on behalf of LockerGnome.com, and this week we're doing another review in the iOS Jailbreak series where we review some of the best mods and add-ons for your phone if it's jailbroken. And this week we're covering iBlacklist. iBlacklist is a really awesome jailbreak application that allows you to completely manage who gets to call you, who gets to text you, and who gets to send you messages. So you can configure blacklists and whitelists and completely control who is going to be able to get through to you and um, who isn't. So you can see right off the bat, uh, you have the main uh, configuration of being able to enable call blocking, SMS blocking, and MMS blocking. So uh, once you activate these, then the phone will behave according to the settings that you've set in your blacklist and your whitelist. So um, that's at the very top. Then you have your blacklist, uh, which you can create. And uh, I just made one called test and there's nothing in it. But if I did want to add someone, I would just click that top right uh, plus sign and it would allow me to add people from my contact book, my recent calls, and configure um, how they are able to contact me. Uh, same goes for the whitelist. Um, you know, you can go in there and add people that can always get through so there's never a worry uh, about their ability to be able to contact you. So um, it says it right there, they're accepted people and uh, you can set this active to allow only who is on the whitelist. So everybody else will be in excluded uh, once your whitelist is um, enabled it and it gives you a warning that this is a wide blocking range type of list so use only blacklist set as active if you want to block a few people if you start setting whitelist as active it's going to block everyone except for people that are on the whitelist so you know if you're just tired and you're pissed and you don't want to talk to anybody set a whitelist with one person in it and it'll block everybody out but that's the gist of how a blacklist and a whitelist works there. Uh, under the history, you can see all of the calls that you've filtered, um, or you can see just calls, SMSs, MMSs, and you can go ahead and you can export this whole thing, um, which is pretty cool. So you can keep an archive of, of your history of what you're doing. Um, there's my active list there. Um, so the P01 shows what is active and uh, you can activate and disactivate the test um, just by you know tapping them and it turns them on and off so it says touch the rows activate deactivate your list uh, and that's how you manage what's active at the time so if you don't have anything active it gives you this warning and it says make sure you have at least one active list and active list option with zero active lists you're telling iBlacklist to not use any lists on search so I guess I'll go back in here and I'll just go ahead and, and turn my blacklist on because I don't want to whitelist people. Um, with the action setup, um, you can go in here and uh, disconnect a caller by the fact of not being on an active whitelist. So if they're not on there, uh, it's going to disconnect someone and uh, you can tell it how to disconnect someone. Now you can give them a busy signal, you can take a voicemail and uh, all these other functionalities. So. Um, you got the restricted number settings also, which is uh, an option to be used to disconnect a caller by the fact of having their number restricted. So if it's a restricted number, uh, they go straight up to voicemail or whatever else you want them to go to. So you got those options as well in the action setup. Um, then you can configure your call settings, your message settings, basically the same, um, you know, whether for your calls, you want to save the history or delete the recent calls. Um, you know all the the cool features and functionality that you would not get with the standard phone app in iOS you can even block restricted ID calls and unknown ID calls so if people are trying to you know hide their phone number while they're calling you you can straight up tell them uh, yeah no you're not gonna call me and sorry but uh, I'm not I'm not even gonna bother with your phone call so you got those settings there and message settings, kind of the same things. You can filter uh, different uh, things. Um, same way you would with your calls. If they're restricted, you know, they're getting blocked. And, uh, you know, the vibration and sound notify, different texts like this. You can even tell it to block text messages with less than a certain amount of characters. So if you know they're going to be spam or solicitations, you know, and they're not more than one word, um, you can go ahead and block them that way. 
In addition, you have a scheduler, so you can set um, your black and white lists to have certain times that they're active for. Um, pretty handy dandy if you're uh, getting into advanced uh, time schedules. If you're a really busy person, you go to a lot of meetings, you know, you got things that you can plan out ahead of time, use the scheduler. With the extras, um, you can filter your notifications uh, to get some more privacy there. Um, get some parental controls and also getting some reports of your system. So you got those under extra. You can password protect I blacklist and um, even put a fake password and, and fake behaviors in here. Um, fake behavior, fake DB uh, allows you to build a fake database and um, you know make it do a fake action. So that's one of the cool features of this. It's pretty uh, pretty stealthy. If you go into camo, you can actually change what icon um, shows up for the app and what name the app is showing. So people will really not know um, what it is that you have on your phone. So for example, if I go ahead and I change my icon to the, the sleep timer and I rename it, uh, rename the app sleep timer, then the next time I, um, I uh, respring my springboard. When it comes back, the app will no longer say "I blacklist." You won't see the uh, black contacts icon, and instead, it will uh, just show the um, the camouflaged uh, output. So here's a sneak peek of what that looks like. So here we are, guys. Uh, the phone is resprung, and you can see that the icon has changed, and so has the name of the application. But when I launch it, it's still "I blacklist." So. <laughs> If you want to be super stealthy you can hide even what your icon is so um there you go you've got uh, a quick uh, walkthrough of i blacklist for jailbroken iphones uh pretty awesome functionality that's not available in standard ios and uh you can get it on the Cydia app store under i blacklist um i hope you guys enjoyed this review again this is r malieri on behalf of lockernome.com feel free to head on over to lockernome to check out some more how to's and reviews Got some really good stuff for you there. All of our previous iOS uh, reviews are on there. And uh, if you want to find out more about me, you can follow me on Twitter at rmalieri or check my videos out on YouTube at forward slash rmalieri. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next review. See you later.